What's up, y'all? Phone call interrupted me. So they, they could take somebody like me, who's a, a, a trained veteran, a, you know, infantry veteran, you know, that they would assume would have all these guns. I don't have no guns, by the way. You know, but anyway, uh, they can go back in my history at Facebook they, and, 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 and my YouTube videos and see what I'm talking about and say, oh, this dude is a threat to society. Well, I'm not a threat to society. I'm going to just put that out there right now for the record. I'm not a threat to society. I am a threat to those who will go against our liberties. I am a threat to the freedom snatchers. And that's not society. See, society as a whole are sleeping sheep. You know what I'm saying? They're sleeping sheep counting sleep in their sheep. Sleep. That's a tongue twister. They're sleeping sheep counting sheep in their sleep. That's what society is. Very few of us have experienced an awakening and an awareness that is more dangerous to the cabal than any Russian spy because we have the power okay we have a, the power people like me people that speak this real shit people that bring the truth to you people that tell you about the poisoning people that tell you about the fluoride in the water people that tell you about how you need the ground and how they're spraying the air trying to block the sun and all this other shit we are a bigger threat than, than any Russian spy because we have the power to reach the masses in society. So, to them, I would be one of those people <laughs> that they would lock up to evaluate and to snatch their guns away, though I don't have any guns, and all that other shit. So, and I don't have guns because I live in California. In a state where it's not worth it to buy a gun. I mean, it's just not. It's not worth it. You can't go nowhere with it. You know what I'm saying? So what's the point? Anyway. But my question would be. Would they use this very same assessment uh, 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 protocol to stop child molesters? To stop uh, uh, child sex traffickers? To stop those who would like to throw dollars at little boys dressed up as women, dressed up as little girls. I wonder if they would go after them because they are the biggest threat to society. People like them are the greatest threat to society. Anybody who thinks it's cute and okay to uh, parade little boys around dressed as girls and have dollars, whoever thinks that's okay, they, they ask, those are the ones that need to be locked up. What are they going to do about that? You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Our, our, our children are under threat 24-7. Okay? Under real threat. And they're not under threat from people like me. I'm a protector of children. If I see a child, if I'm in the presence of a child being abused, oh, I'm going to intervene. And that's what they don't want. That's also the threat that they want to... Uh, mitigate see this is the game they're playing dan crenshaw should be ashamed of himself as someone who served in the armed forces and swore to protect the, and uphold the constitution when all you're doing is um you're you're fighting to take those rights away with, with a bill like hr 838 now, this is a bill that won't be decided on by us as civilians and as uh, uh, citizens. No, this is a bill that will be decided on by the Congress, then the Senate, and Trump has to sign it into office. So what we have to do is help them understand, let make them understand that we understand what this bill is really about. It's about taking the freedoms away from the people. It's about making examples of people like me who they are going to say is a threat. I can already I can see the writing on the wall already. You understand what I'm saying? 
And once you take the people like me away, the men like me that are alpha, that, that, you know what I'm saying? That are real men, that are alpha men. I don't like using the word alpha, but that gives you a sense. All the people like me and others that spit that real shit and aren't afraid to speak up, to speak out. We are the threats that they are referring to in this TAPS bill. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just connecting dots here. No one told me that. I'm just seeing the writing on the wall. Because what happened with that Cruz cat? Hmm? Nicholas Cruz. Well, the FBI, I want y'all to look at this. The FBI interviewed Nicholas Cruz multiple times. He had the police called on him 33 times. Okay? FBI on his head. Now, I don't agree with red flag, red flag laws. But if someone has to call the police on you 33 times and the FBI has to interview, interview you multiple times, at some point, yeah, you, you, you might have to do something about that. But how was he still able to get out of that situation and do what he did? How come after, inter after being interviewed and looked at by the FBI, he carried out these, his, this attack? Anybody ever wonder that? How the FBI let, let him slip through their fingers to do this heinous act? My question would be, how did another mass shooter go to the police and tell them, look, I'm hearing voices in my head telling me to kill a bunch of people. The FBI put him under 48 hour observation in a psych ward, let his ass go. And then what'd he do? Hmm. How come after the FBI gets a hold of these people, they end up committing these mass shootings? Anybody ever asked that question? What we should be looking at, we should, we should be, what our law enforcement agencies should be looking at are the people doing the harm to the children. But no, they want to remove people like me from society so that the children can be, it's like candy, it's like candy in Candyland or whatever. I don't know, I don't know what metaphor I want to use, but y'all get what I'm saying. So what we have to do, we have to hit up our congressmen and our senators and let them know, look, we ain't rocking with this H3, HR838. This is a minority report bill. Make no bones about it. Make no bones. The sooner that we realize that we have bigger things to worry about. Oh, man. Like girls or like, like boys who compete on the men's track team the year before and decide that they want to be a girl that the next year, this year, to compete against women and blow their ass out the water and destroy all these, dash, just da let's just dash these little girls' dreams. Little girls who worked from very young in track and field to perform at the level that they, at peak performance, Peak performance, you know what I'm saying? At the top of their level, then to have a mediocre male track and field star come on over and blow their ass out the water. Are, are they trying to increase the rate of suicide in teenage girls? Listen, I don't want... I, 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 you know, y'all know I don't like the defeatist attitude in, 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 the, in the, I don't like to say things like this, but I had to be real. Shit like this, if this continues, 
you will see an increase in, in teenage women, girl, teenage uh, depression, suicide attempts and all that shit. But there's always a solution. You know, I like to prevent, present solutions. We have to say, hell no. We see this happening. If you if your da daughter is in a track team and some boy comes up in there talking about I'm a girl, I'm, I'm competing. What y'all have to do is take all your girls out of the team. Take all you just pull them all out. Don't allow them to go through that bullshit and that embarrassment. You take all your girls out of that off that team and see how he does. Let him let let him let, let him compete with himself. And if a motherfucking and if he's not on your team and there's a competition and you find out that there's a boy talking about he's a girl coming to to, to compete against you, your your child from another team, hell, that's everybody should pull their they girls out. This is what y'all want to do? Okay. Y'all go ahead had at. See how many trannies you can find to come and, and, and race them. Because my daughters ain't doing it. See, we have to stand up. We have to speak up and speak out. We can't be afraid to protect our children. Because when we allow this shit, we're not protecting them. We're harming them. That's what we should be focused on. We shouldn't be focused on looking into... Evaluating people. Oh, you might do harm. You might do harm someday. 